Welcome back everyone, this is Mondo All Day, back with another video. And in this video, I'll be doing a discussion or an overview of some of the reveals that occurred this past weekend during WonderCon of 2024, which I believe it took place on the 30th, so 30th of March. So I figured, you know, let's talk about some of the reveals and some upcoming figures coming out next year and also, of course, this year. So let's just dive right into it. So the first one we're going to be seeing is going to be the matrix one uh, i'm eh, i'm not a big fan of these i mean they look cool if you like them so there you go so we have neo and we have trinity with the unique and of course legendary pose of trinity from the matrix films coming up this summer next is going to be spring of 2025 something new it's going to be mr freeze which looks like just a repaint we have here embassy was it embassy bug can, can you see it from my screen I have to just kind of zoom in a little bit more but booster gold tim drake robin dc rebirth and ambush bug i believe that's what it's called yeah right ambush bug anyways this figure um well the mr freeze one i may get it maybe wait off for a sale because it's just a repaint from what i can tell the ambush bug and cheeks the toy wonder probably going to get uh, booster gold Probably going to get day one. Definitely Tim Drake on day one. That one looks really, really nice. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. I mean, again, from Mr. Freeze repaint, it doesn't look that good, but you never know with Macron. They can look kind of okay via images, but when you look at it in person, you're like, okay, this looks badass. So, there's that. The next one's going to be the Platinum and Chase. Okay, here's the problem with this. This is the Platinum Chase or Chase figures. So I'm a bit confused. Does this mean that these figures are going to be only available for Platinum? Or is this going to like be another variant? Because uh, this is going to be a pain if these are going to be the Platinum figures. Because we have Manhunter, Reverse Flash from the New 52, and of course Sportsmaster. I can already tell Sportsmaster is going to be a lot of reuse from the Detective Comics uh, design, which is, which is fine. But like, what is, does this mean that this is only a Platinum and... You can get them only plan them. You can't even get a regular one, which ugh, this is going to be tough. So I, I would prefer more clarification on this one. I, again, based on what I'm seeing here, yeah, this is just going to be a plan of addition to that set. It's not going to be a solo variant or regular variant, which is a bit unfortunate because I'm sure a lot of people would want all of these in our collection. So I'm a bit concerned on that. But Marshall Man, Marshall Man, Manhunter looks cool. I like the red color paint and the face clip. Uh, piece looks really good reverse flash it looks nice i wish that red just kind of had a glow, red glow to it that would be really really nice and of course sports master it looks cool they all three will look good definitely i would get them all but again the platinum edition does this mean that like again it's just going to be platinum no regular figure or solo <sighs> it's going to be unfortunate it's going to be a tough find to get these three next is going to be the Tumblr and Lucius Fox coming in summer of 2025. There were leaks of this, like there's going to be something like this coming out, and well, here we have it here, Lucius Fox and the Tumblr. Lucius Fox actually looks pretty good. It looks pretty darn good. It looks, well, like I said, it looks like the, the character from the movie, Lucius Fox. The Tumblr, it looks really detailed. I'm all about the size. I, I gotta see, well, that sounds wrong, but I gotta wait and see how the size is. If this thing is as big as the Batmobile, Batman 89 Batmobile, this is definitely going to sell very well. Maybe not that lengthy, more like just bigger and bulkier. This is definitely going to be very well. Um, because based on what I'm seeing here, just the images and how they have it, it looks like a small tumbler. Which, if it is, that's going to be disappointing. I mean, I don't want it to be like, almost you can fit a 12-inch figure. But something like the Batman 89, you know what I mean? So... The Tumblr, in terms of the detail, looks really, really nice, and this is the one I'm really interested in. I want to see how big the size of it is going to be. Lucius Fox, it's cool an add-on addition, but yeah. The main thing is going to be Tumblr, and I don't remember if I read it correctly, but it's going to be a gold label. So, if it is, oh, it's going to be a pain, but we'll see in time. Next we have, it's going to be the 7-inch Build-A-Figure for Nightmare Batman. Or Nightmare Bat, excuse me. This is going to be from the Batman and... No. Batman Returned? What is it? I can't remember the name of the movie. 
I think it's just called Batman, right? It's Batman and Robin, Batman Return, no, Batman, Batman Returns. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. And this is a yes for me. <laughs> Two-Face, Riddler, people been wanting this. Boom, we have it. And you build the Nightmare Bat. Eh, I'm not really too fan of the Nightmare Bat. It's cool, but eh. But the Robin looks really, really nice. And of course, you have the Batman. That's going to be, what's his name? It's um, Val Kilmer Batman. So, <sighs> oh, Batman Forever. That's what it's called. There you go. And I remember. So, it all depends how they look. I think the one that's going to look kind of weird, honestly, it might be the whole Nightmare Bat. We'll see. But the one for sure, for sure I'm getting is the Batman and, of course, Robin. You know what I'm just saying right now? Just get the whole set again. Because these, they look weird images, but when you see them in person, they definitely look good. I mean, I remember looking at the Batman and Robin way for I, Mr. Freeze. Images look weird, but when you see it in person, you're pretty dead impressed. So, yeah, definitely getting this for my collection. Here we have like two little combo picture right here. We have on the top, it's going to be the collection edition coming out next year. It says next year, but yeah, the pre-orders are coming out in April, which is going to be Captain Boomerang, Starfire, and Penguin. And I posted an image already of these on Sunday or yesterday, but... It says spring 2025, but yet they're coming out to pre-order on April 2nd. And anyways, um, Captain Boomerang looks fantastic. And the images are shown, or they were shown. Yes, Starfire, yes. Penguin, absolutely. And on the bottom, it's going to be Batman, which is Batman manga. Okay. And then Sergeant Rock. And of course, Superboy, Connor Kent. The Batman manga, I'm kind of, ugh. Sergeant Rock, yeah, definitely. Superboy, Connor Kent, of course. I mean, when we saw the Tom McFarlane figure of himself, we all knew Connor Kent was coming, so there you go. But, again, this is a spring 2025, but yet, yeah, it's coming out. I think these are coming out this year. I don't know for a fact, but I'm just I'm assuming that this is just an error because, again, the collection edition Starfire and Penguin and Captain Boomerang, it says spring of 2025, but yet the pre-orders are coming up in April 2nd. So I'm assuming there's an error and the other ones on the bottom, which is Connor Kent, the manga Batman, and so, so forth, that's coming on summer of this year. But so far, the top three in terms of Captain Boomerang and so forth, definitely must buy. Sergeant Rock, yes. Connor Kent, waiting for an image, but so far, I'm liking this. Here we have the Fallout figures that came out, I believe they came out, a couple weeks ago, right? Or it's coming out soon for the Fallout TV show. I'm not a Fallout fan. I mean, if you do like Fallout, there you go. Um, again, not for me. I believe these are Amazon exclusive. Or I could be wrong. But these are the Movie Maniacs, Waves. I mean, they look cool and all. I'm just not a Fallout fan. Here we have the... I don't think there was a leak of these particular figures. It's going to be the Superman... The Man of Steel, Green Arrow, Longbow Hunter, and the Adam Ray Palmer. Collect those three figures and you build Animal Man, which I hope it's a different version of Animal Man. Or it's a less, is more of like a NFT type thing, digital. So, first of all, Super, Superman, uh, Man of Steel. Okay, I'm, that one, I want to see how that, that one looks. That one looks really, really good. So far in terms of the image of the comic. Green Arrow, Longbow Hunter, I made an overview of the comic, of the Omnibus, I have a link to it. Heck yeah, that's a must-buy for me, because reading that comic, damn, Green Arrow is badass. And of course, the Adam Ray Palmer, more comic accurate, not compared to the other Adam that we receive, it's all textured-like textured with page punchers. And so again, they build Animal Man, I do hope it's a different version of Animal Man. It's a good-looking figure, don't get me wrong, I just want something a little different. Unless, like I said, it's all digital, so, well, we'll see. But, so far, the one I'm out of these three, definitely getting the Green Arrow. Here we have another wave, I believe it's like third wave of the Batman animated series. This is going to be, includes Hardak, all the, the Cyborg Batman, Poison Ivy, Phantasm, and Bane. And they all build, I'm assuming it's going to be Bruce Wayne. This is going to sell pretty quickly, so for those of you who like this, a whole entire series of Wave, oof, you definitely want to, you want to, 
get this uh, your pre-orders in because Phantasm and Bane alone, I can already tell that one's going to be hard to find. Now, those two are going to be hard to find. Maybe Poison Ivy, in terms of the actual hard act or Batman robot, as I call him, or Cyborg robot, uh, Batman. Eh, but the fact that you can get Bruce Wayne, oof, this is going to be, this is going to sell a lot. Look, I'll say this right now. For me, not really into this whole entire wave. I got the Scarecrow one. It looks really cool. You get a lot of accessories before the price. So, and just the quality, I just can't. I can't see myself purchasing them, so yeah, I didn't purchase the rest of the Target exclusive ones and the new ones. They look really good. I do like how they look, but for the price and just how they feel and the quality, it's just not not really for me. So, but here we have it. We have the Batman or the Hardeck Poison Ivy, which looks nice. Phantasma, oh, that's gonna sell crazy. And again, Bane. That one, if they made a, if McFarlane made a mega fig for that particular Bane for DC Multiverse, oof, that's going to sell out like crazy. Because imagine that Bane, right? The Batman animated version Bane mega fig. If the regular one, comic accurate one, sold out quickly, <laughs> the Batman animated mega fig will sell out like crazy. So that's that. And of course, with Bruce Wayne, we don't have Bruce Wayne for DC Multiverse. What's up with that? Continuing on with the Batman anime series, here we have the Joker Mobile. I don't know if it comes with the figure. I want to say it does, but I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. It does lit up in terms of the eyes and the mouth, which is pretty cool. <sighs> Again, to me, this whole line disappointed me. Just the quality of it, but they look really, really cool. I have to give credit where credit's due. They do look really, really cool, but just holding them in person for the price, though, I think holding like a decent multiverse or a collector's edition figure, yeah, it's just the quality is not the same. But hey, if you like this whole entire series or waves, definitely collect it. Collect what you like or you love. Don't worry about what someone else says. But here we have the Joker Mobile. And again, it looks really good. We'll see what the pricing though. I'm curious how it's going to be for the pricing for like a mobile or vehicle for the animated series. Here we have some... Music Maniacs figures, we have Ozzy Osbourne, Alice Cooper, Eddie from Iron Maiden, which looks pretty cool. And of course, Rob Zombie. Again, these other like figures, I'm not a fan of, are they really figures? Or are they just like statues? They look like, oh, they actually they're figures. Yeah, I can tell from Iron Maiden's um elbow. I can see the pin on there. And not for me, I'll be honest with you, but it looks cool though. I think the best one out of these is going to be the Rob Zombie one. I might get the Rob Zombie because I do like Rob Zombie music, so maybe get that one. But I'm not a huge fan of these. If you like them, great. If you don't, it's all right. So, yeah, so what I can tell, this is going to be it. This is all the reveals that occurred. I could be wrong. There could be more. If there is more, let me know in the comment section what I'm missing because I looked up online via Toy Shiz and was able to capture these images and... This is what they announced, so I could be wrong, maybe I'm missing some, let me know in the comment section. But to me, the one figure that I'm really looking for out of all these reveals, honestly, it's going to be the one that kind of like, okay, I want to get for sure. It's a tough one, because on the one hand, I do like the collection's edition. The collection's edition does look really, really good. But... I want that long bow hunter Green Arrow. Once I read the comic, I'm telling you, you definitely should read it. Something about it, when you read it, you build this connection with Green Arrow, Oliver Queen. And I want that Green Arrow. So, out of the whole entire reveals, I'm probably going to stick with the Green Arrow one. Yeah, I'm going for the Green Arrow one. So, let me know. Out of all the reveals, which one are you guys excited? Let me know in the comment section. I'm always interested to see, or hear, or read, I should say, what other people think. Alright, this includes an overview of the reveals in WonderCon 2024. And on to the next one.